Hi, my name is Tim Yoon. I want to share with you some clean code tips. Today, I want to cover the concept of dry. Don't repeat yourself. And this comes up very often in the Swift UI example where there's a list of items that you need to either edit or add, and you have to create an edit view and an add view. And there are different ways of trying to deal with this scenario. And um, one way that's kind of the beginner way leads to a lot of repetition and tight coupling between the view and the view model. And so I wanna show you how you can use a closure to reduce coupling and increase reusability and make the code much cleaner. So let me show you this MVVM example right now. So here we have a data model using a, a user with an, a unique ID, first name and last name. And then there's going to be a user list view model. And it's a private set var of users. It's an array of user. And it's got a couple of users in there. Then we have the CRUD functions. And not all of them, just two of them, the add and the update functions of the CRUD. The CRUD meaning create, read, update, and delete functions that are very commonly used in Swift UI. So the add function is quite easy. It's users.append user. And the update function is fairly simple as well. It's a guardlet index equals users.first index where dollar sign zero dot ID equals equals user dot ID else uh, return. And once the index is found, then we set the user that's derived from here as the parameter uh, equal to the user's index equals user. Okay, so that's the CRUD functions. Now let's skip the user edit view for now and go to the content view first. Here, what we have is a state object var vm equals user list vm. Okay, and then we're going to get rid of this. Uh, well, we'll keep that for now. And we're going to show a sheet eventually. There's a navigation stack. There's a list, vm.users, user in, and then the first name and the last name is printed out. And this is what we see here. And we, we see is John Wick, Tony Stark, and then there's an add button, which doesn't do anything at the moment. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is edit this, the first name and the last name. And how do we do that? Well, um, a very common way to do that would be make a navigation link destination, right? And then here, the label is purely this, the H stack that we have down here. That's the label. And once you do that, we need the destination itself. And the destination here will make it the user edit view for now, okay? So let's do that, user edit view takes in a user and it's gonna be the user. Good. Now what you see is that you have the disclosure right there, John Wick. You try to change the name to let's say Bobby, it doesn't change. The reason is this button for the user edit view has nothing there. So let's go over this code a bit better now. So it takes in a user and there's an environment dot dismiss so that we can actually dismiss the view programmatically. There's a list text field of the first name, user dot first name, last name, user dot last name, binding variables. And there's a button uh, that can be used to dismiss this view. But we actually need to do something when you hit, click on that save button, we need to be able to do something. So, well, we need to be able to edit the view. So what does that mean? Well, let's think about that. We need access to this user list VM update. So I guess we can just pass it. So observe object bar VM of type user list VM. I say, okay, I've got that. Then I can do vm.update users and user. And then we just need to give it the VM here, vm.vm. And then as soon as it's done compiling, we can click on this, change John to Bobby, 
save, and it's updated. Woohoo! So that's great. We think. Um, what about you know the the add button? How do you add something? Well, very commonly, what we'll do is we create a toolbar, create a button, and then the label, which is add. And then what you do is show a sheet. Okay, so let's show the sheet. Sheet is presented, dollar sign, show sheet, which we have up here as a state variable. And then what are we gonna show? Well, um, can we do user edit view? Well, the problem here is that that's just for updating. It doesn't work for adding a view. So I guess that means we got to create a whole new view just for adding. Okay, so let's do that. Let's just copy this and say, okay, well, instead of user edit view, we'll call it the user add view. And it's going to get a user like before. It's going to get a view model and for the list. The only thing that needs to change is this. Instead of update, we'll call it add. So then we can go here and say, hmm, user, add view. And you know, it's gonna be a blank user, right? Since we're adding a user and the VM. So this should work now. Let's click on add. Oh yeah, we'll put in a name, we'll call it uh, Mary Poppins and save. And Mary Poppins is there. Well, what if we wanted to change that name to Beth, Mary Beth Poppins, and that works. Okay, so add works, update works. But what is the problem that we have here? Well, let's go take a look at the code right here. So it's the user edit view and the user add view identical. The only thing that's different really is the vm.update versus vm.add, there's a lot of code smell here. This is repetition. And this becomes even more of a problem when you have lots and lots of fields instead of just two text fields. Can you imagine a whole form with different, uh, multiple different um, components? Uh, every time you make a change here, you gotta make a change over here. Whenever the data model changes, it's just ugly. And that's a bad code smell. What we really want is to be able to handle this as a single view. We're gonna use closures to do that. So what that means is we're gonna get rid of this observed object. I'm gonna say there's a var, it's gonna be a closure called save, and the signature is gonna be user and returns void. So instead of vm.update here, we're gonna say save. Just save, and what do you wanna save? Save the user, okay? So let's see now, let's go back down here. That means that we can get rid of this VM stuff. We still need that. Instead, we need to save closure. So we hit enter and now we got this closure and we're gonna say returned user. And what do we do here? Well, now we call the view model update user returned user. Okay, so now does it still work? Uh, I think so, let's check it out. Instead of John, we'll call him Bobby Wick. And ooh, I missed a little typo here, but you saw that it does work. Bobby Wick, it's been updated. So this edit view is working. Okay, so let's go back. Now, what about this? Can we change this to edit view instead? Maybe we could, and we get rid of this view model, and instead we'll do save. Okay, hang on now, hang on. Let me type this in. Come on, save, right? Returned user, and it's going to be vm dot. Instead of update now, it's going to be add this user returned user. Okay. So there's a little, little, little bug here. I messed up my braces. All right. So now we'll 
Click on add and we'll add Mary Poppins and hit save. Boom, it works. And if we change Mary to something else like Jane, save, and that works. Okay, I guess that means we don't need user ad view anymore. Let's just get rid of it. And just to prove that it's still working, I'm gonna compile it again, right? And then we're gonna edit John to Bobby and save, and that worked, Bobby Wick. And then we're gonna add another user and we'll say Mary Poppins, save, and that works. So we completely got rid of one view. The add view is now gone. All we have is user edit view. And so the code is a lot cleaner now. So I wanna do a little bit more though to show you how you can make some changes here to make it nicer. So here, the when you go here, it, you've got no navigation title. So how can we make it nicer? Well, we can add that here in navigation title and we can customize it. And we say edit user. Okay, so we go click on this. Oh, and it says edit user, we like that. How about when we add and there's no title here, let's give it a title. How do we do that? Well, we are gonna wrap this in a navigation stack and give it a navigation title. And this one will be an add user, right? So then we go add and boom, it's an add user right there. And so just to go over it again, um, we're trying to write clean code by staying dry. Don't repeat yourself. So you don't have both an edit view and an add view. We avoid repetition and tight coupling between the view model and the view itself by using a closure. And so this is what we do, write clean code by using closure. And then we're able to write a much cleaner code. I hope you guys found that useful. Like and subscribe and see you on the next episode.